Welcome to the Today's Home Podcast. I'm your host, Diane Plissett, a certified master kitchen bath designer and aging in place specialist for over 35 years. My goal is to help you enjoy your home in every way possible. Let's get started. I'm so glad you're here. My current blog, Home Smart Home, is about smart home technology, where it came from and where it is, according to experts who really know. It's a fascinating history that started in 1950, when inventor Emil Mathias built his push-button home. The Jetsons aired 12 years after the push-button home. I wonder if the program was inspired by Mr. Matthias's home or by the home of the future that was built in Disneyland in 1957. We have robots to vacuum our floors and are controlled by many smart devices. The closest thing we have to Rosie the Robot is Alexa and Siri. They don't have an arrogant attitude, at least not that I know about. Today's voice old smart homes just listen unless we ask them specific questions. I wonder how we'd feel if Alexa and Siri developed an attitude like Rosie had. The house of the future was designed by architect Marvin Goody for Monsanto. The floor, ceiling, and walls were made entirely of plastic. Do you think that the famous conversation from the 1967 movie The Graduate might have been inspired by the House of the Future. It's a conversation Mr. McGuire. I want to say one word to you. Just one word. Are you listening? Yes, I am. Plastics. There's a future in Think about it. The House of the Future had many similar features that we have in today's smart homes. The kitchen had a state-of-the-art microwave oven. Ceiling light panels could be set to various levels for task or mood lighting. A climate control panel heated or the house, and it could provide what we know now as aromatherapy, making the house smell like the seashore or a garden of roses. In TV and hi fi hid from view when not in use. Push button speakerphones provided hands free calls. Of course, there were differences to the house of the future. Refrigerated shelves lowered from the ceiling. I really like this idea, although I can't imagine how I'd design a kitchen with a ceiling mounted refrigerator. But it's Interesting to think about, there's no hulking mass to take up valuable square footage in the kitchen. An ultra wave dishwasher saved water. The dishes and drinking vessels were plastic. Now we've discovered that plastic isn't the end all be all and do all for us and our environment. We've become so accustomed to technology. It's easy to forget that our present was defined and designed over 62 years ago. The smart home in Disneyland was perfect for that time and location. It was the only one of its kind. Technology and is becoming affordable, so your home can now have features that can be easily controlled by your cell phone, pad, computer, or a simple command. Here are some questions to think about if you're getting ready to turn your home sweet home into a home smart home. Have you ever missed deliveries because you weren't at home and there was no one there to receive the package? Do you want to know when your children get home from school, when the cleaning person arrives, or when someone rings the doorbell? Are you unsure whether you turned on the security system or closed the garage door before you left? Are you coming back from vacation and want to reset your HVAC system the day before? Do you want to turn on music and lights when you're on your way home from work? 
Want to see what's going on in your home while you're away? Or just have fun with your pets? Do you want to help with what to fix for dinner with food you have in your refrigerator and pantry? Do you want to be alerted if an appliance fails? Home develops a plumbing leak. These are all possible with technology that's readily available. Here's a description of what smart can have to make your life more enjoyable. You can control and monitor access to your home with smart door locks, cameras, and intercom systems. An email or camera picture shows up on your cell phone to let you know when your children arrive home from school or when someone rings your doorbell. You don't have to answer the door in person. You can distribute music and movies throughout your home and hide all of the equipment in a closet. Family and friends can enjoy different types of AV media areas of your home at the same time. You have simple control of complex systems and save money by reducing the number of cable or satellite boxes at every TV. A movie or TV show can be paused in one room while it continues to play in another room. Digital media stores logs your collection. You can sort or filter thousands of titles with instant access. Automatic setback thermostats have been required by building departments for years. They work with a clock, but you have to tell it what time you want the HVAC system to turn on and off. You may have to adjust daylight saving time. With occupancy sensors, the room can adjust the temperature. You don't have to heat or cool every room in your home. The interior temperature can also for the activity or your temperature. Climate of individual rooms can be adjusted for solar gain or loss. Skylights can be opened or closed and exhaust fans can be turned on automatically based on the temperature and humidity. Window treatments can be opened and closed for light and privacy as well as help control solar gain or solar loss. With an energy monitor, it's possible to see how your home is performing to help you save money and environment. There's a range of smart devices to show you energy consumption. The most expensive, of course, will break down which appliances are energy hogs, the day you use the most electricity, and so on. Ed Begley Jr. inspired me during his Living with Ed TV series. It was entertaining, informational, and quirky. He's one of these celebrities who live constantly every day. Smart devices will help you save water, too. We just purchased a landscape irrigation tool that will turn on the sprinklers if it's raining, or will give our precious plants an extra drink of water if we have a heat wave. This device can be operated by cell phone, computer, or voice. Lighting is the major feature that can enhance every activity in your home at any hour of the day or night. Good lighting can 1. Create a safe pathway when you come home, walk from room to room, and navigate in each room. 2. Adjust with activities. The kitchen must have good task light so you can see what you're doing. And a family room must have sufficient light to play board games and read. But you don't need as much light when you're entertaining or watching TV. 3. Reduce eye strain in your home office by balancing ambient light with your computer monitor. 4. Save you money when you use dimmable LEDs. Using dimmer switches instead of regular on-off switches reduces your energy consumption and saves the lights that you're dimming. There are many manufacturers of lighting control that integrate with smart home technology. I'm a longtime fan of Lutron controls, but they can be at or near the top of your investment. 
It depends on how sophisticated and integrated you want your lighting controls to be. Knowing the features you want, including integration with other smart home devices, will help you find exactly what's right for your lifestyle and your home. You can hire a company to help you turn your home sweet home into a home smart home, or you can transform your home yourself if you understand how smart technology works and you're handy with tools. You can make the task easier by breaking your goals down into smaller pieces. If you're at the entry level of a smart home, here are expert recommendations. Start with one or two gadgets and build from there as you become familiar with how the products work. For your first devices, get products with the wide compatibility. You'll have better luck if you opt for user-friendly, wallet-friendly gadgets from tech companies like Amazon, Google, and Samsung. If you make a mistake something that doesn't fit, Chances are you can sell it on Craigslist or eBay to recoup some of your investment. While smart home devices can do a lot, they're really as smart as you are. A smart home isn't just about fancy Wi-Fi devices that you control from your cell phone. Don't get frustrated if things don't work as smoothly as you were or were led to believe. There isn't a single app that controls everything and the devices may not intertwine seamlessly. As your smart gets smarter, you'll find workarounds to get devices to talk to one another so you can have inter-device automations. Like when you come home from work and unlock the door, the system automatically turns on lights that make a path to the kitchen. All devices that control your smart home have something in common, a radio. Voice assistants are a great buy early in your smart home journey. They give you the flexibility you may desire. It's reported that 20 million households in the U.S. have voice control devices. Your voice command is transmitted to the manufacturer server. Without this process, voice assistants don't understand a word you say. Servers and hubs are the brains of your smart home. That's where the intelligence is, not in the gadgets and not in the apps or physical remote controllers you use. There is one thing about voice assistance, though, that really nags me, and this is a personal opinion that you can take or leave. The devices have to be listening always. Report on NBC News that admits there may be security problems. There's a link in my blog so you can see the report. An online search for the subject of, quote, security of voice activated controls, unquote, got over 31 million results. Now, I didn't have time or energy to check them all out, but it just that 11 million more people are concerned about voice-activated devices than have them. What if you want all of your devices to connect to the internet, communicate, take your commands, and send you information? This isn't science fiction. It's not rocket science. The Internet of Things, otherwise known as IoT, is a key component of home automation and smart homes. Each additional device in the chain of connection introduces points of failure and chances of lag. A local system will work more quickly than a system that uses the cloud. But not using the cloud may limit what devices you can use. It may prevent voice control, which relies on cloud servers to work. Smart homes that were created in the 1950s and 60s were a dream for a small handful of forward thinkers. We've benefited by the advancements of technology in the past 65 plus years. It's difficult for me to imagine the future of smart homes in the next 65 years. 
just as it was probably difficult for the Wright brothers to envision that we'd be exploring outer space when they flew a simple airplane in December of 1903. Oh, yes, we've come a long way, but we have a long journey ahead of us. I hope that technology will be a tool we can use to save and protect our precious home, Earth. Maybe I was wrong about voice-activated devices not having an attitude. Here's a couple of conversations that people have reported to have with Alexa. Alexa, what's your favorite color? Her response, infrared is super pretty. How much do you weigh, Alexa? I'm weightless, like a cloud. Wait a minute, clouds actually weigh a lot, so that's not quite right. Let's just say I'm more sass than mass. Alexa, I hate you. You can send product or technical feedback in the help and feedback section of the Alexa app. Next week's topic is going to be about trends. Thank you for listening to Today's Home. Tell your family and friends about us and visit our website, www.dp-design.com where you can get a list of upcoming programs, listen to previous podcasts of today's home, and leave remodeling questions for me. Don't forget to follow us on social media. This is Diane Plessett, your host of today's home. Enjoy your day.